Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about silver shampoo. Now, there's quite a few different silver shampoos available on the market. Um, I think the most popular one tends to be that Provoke Touch of Silver. But today I wanted to talk to you about some shampoos that are a little bit better than Provoke Touch of Silver. Let's start it off. Let's start it off. This one is the TG Catwalk Fashionista. Um, violet shampoo for blondes and highlights and it cost me £12.50 from my local hairdressing shop you can also buy it on Amazon for about 11 quid at the moment if I remember correctly um, you get a whopping 750ml in this this is not a small bottle at all and it's got a pump on the top so you basically just keep pumping it out while you need it now what I really like about this one I will link you to the video where I actually managed to tone my hair with this it's really good stuff and you get so much of it I mean, this entire bottle has lasted me since before Christmas and it's now September so nine months worth of heavy use this has got because obviously I've used quite a lot of it for um, toning when I have toned with it and yeah it's just about run out now I mean there's still a teeny tiny little bit left I'll see if I can show you what it looks like ah, yeah tiny little bit left it's purple but it's kind of like a pearly kind of purple so it's very nice it goes on your hair very nice Another one I've been using for quite a while is this one. It's a German brand called Ballet Professional. Um, I'm not entirely sure that it is professional standard because it was €1.45 in Germany. Bought a whole load of them back with me last year from Germany. Um, this one is called Silver Glanz Shampoo, which I believe is German for silver shampoo. Um, and it hasn't got any silicon in it and it's apparently for platinum blonde hair. Um, and grey, white and blonde hair. Okay, so what I like about this one is it's like a normal shampoo, so it actually washes your hair, because a lot of silver shampoos don't seem to get your hair clean, they seem to build up quite a bit of residue, which can be annoying when you're using it on a regular basis. I've now had hair this colour for over a year now, um, so anything I can use that will keep my hair clean without actually washing away the colour um, is a great one for me. Now this one comes out, can you see, it's a fairly kind of... Focus. It's a fairly kind of see through colour. Ah, that's gone wrong. That's, ooh, ooh, there's a bubble. Did you see the bubble? I'll see if I can show you. It's more of a kind of see through y kind of. Focus. It's more of a see through y kind of colour. <laughs> Um, so you can see right through that a little bit of it goes a long way it works pretty much like normal um, shampoo and what I really like about it is that it doesn't wash away your silver tones even though it doesn't really add to them very much but it does prolong the life of a silver toner so you'd have to use a silver toner with this you can't rely on it to top up your colour but it does make them last longer which I really like the other thing I like about this one and the TG Catwalk is that you get really even coverage with it so you don't end up with kind of patchy bits like really bright grey at the front and then like yellowy at the back which I really hate um, so I like a good even coverage and both of those do that the L'Oreal one does that as well which I'm about to talk about now, my favourite favourite um, of all the toning silver shampoos, all the ones that deposit a heavy colour on your hair, is the L'Oreal Professional Silver Shampoo. It might possibly be called Violet Shampoo. I don't actually have any at the moment. Um, I had one bottle of this before Christmas and it was amazing. Um, unfortunately, it's ridiculously expensive. It cost me over £10 for one bottle and it was like a normal sized bottle of shampoo. Um, so I haven't been able to afford to buy it again, obviously, because that's quite a lot of money. Um, you can save money if you buy the bigger bottle, but obviously you've got to spend more money up front to save money per unit if you see what I mean um, it was really nice had really nice even coverage it kept my hair a very silver colour it didn't build up residue too much but it built up just enough to keep my hair a really nice kind of bright silver colour um, but as I said I haven't got any of that at the moment I will just post a picture here what I'm using at the moment is this set it's the Leo Bancroft, I hope it's focusing, it's the Leo Bancroft um, Radiant Blonde Intensive Blonde Shampoo and Intensive Blonde Conditioner 
um, these are really nice they give you a little bit of um, kind of color deposit but not very much so you definitely need to tone with them but they're definitely they give you a much stronger color result than the um, Balier silver shampoo that I was talking about a minute ago um, they're not quite as good as the L'Oreal or the TG but these are available in the supermarket you can buy these in Tesco uh, which is one of the things I like about them and they come with the shampoo and the conditioner and because I'm always looking for an alternative to that awful provoked touch of silver which I really 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 hate um, I've had like three bottles of that now and it just never gets any better um, it leaves my hair in a terrible condition these leave my hair in a much better condition it dries a lot quicker and it also gets rid of those brassy tones which really annoy me so much um, but you do still need to tone with those ones and lastly um, there are two other silver shampoos that I haven't got that I would like to talk about was the provoked touch of silver um, and all I'm going to say about that is that I really don't like it um, I think it deposits uneven colour it builds up too much in the bits it does deposit it on and it doesn't um, build up especially on your darker bits, which just annoys me so much. You end up with banding with it. And the other one is the Bleach London one, which is amazing. The Bleach London Silver Shampoo and Silver Conditioner are the absolute strongest colour result you can get. The only problem with them is that they leave your hair really dried out, even the conditioner. They leave your hair really dried out and straw-like, um, which I don't like. And since they're £5 a bottle each, I just don't think that's... The kind of money I want to be spending on something that leaves my hair in a bad condition. Now, I don't have a bottle of Head and Shoulders, otherwise I'd hold that up. This one is the Avon Advanced Techniques Anti Dandruff. Never ever use Anti Dandruff shampoo on coloured hair. Okay, it washes the colour out and it'll dry your hair out. So the problem, this is the thing. If you've ever got a colour on your hair you want to get rid of, like you want to kind of tone down the result because it's come out too strong it's not it's not going to work like a colour remover but anything like a temporary semi-permanent kind of colour or a hair toner that you want to get rid of this stuff's amazing anti-dandruff shampoo but if you want to keep your hair colour stay away from it just stay far far away anyway you shouldn't really be needing it if you've got silver hair let's be fair because dandruff's not going to show up unless like me you've got a little black box at the top of your airplane um, yeah, I totally need to do my roots still, although the problem is I've got to renew my passport now and because I'm renewing my passport, um, they want me to send them through a new photo and the photo has to match my old photo, otherwise I've got to go find somebody to sign it who's known me for three years and that's just a pain in the neck it's got to be somebody with a particular professional job and I just thought to myself, you know, it would be easier just to dye my hair brown and then they won't even wonder what's going on. So I am going to be doing a tutorial at some point very, very soon to show you how to get rid of white hair because there is a special, like, technique to doing it. You don't just want to put any old dye on. You may have already found this out. That's coming soon. Anyway, that's about all I have to say about silver shampoos. Um, I think, just think outside the box basically with them don't just keep going for the provoked touch of silver you will find much much better color results in your hair left in a much better condition with pretty much every other silver shampoo and conditioner out there apart from the bleach london ones but they're really good for color okay that's everything from me thank you very much for watching and i will see you again next week cheers bye